What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to do an unboxing and review of the Beats Studio Pro headphones. Uh, these guys have been out for just, I believe, a little over uh, less than a year. Um, I was going to get them. They, I, I put them. I put off on getting them. Then I went back and revisited them. And then I saw, uh, well, after I did it, I, re, I put it to the side again. And then I saw uh, the price drop. And I was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and get these. I need to go and get these in and um, review them, compare them with other headphones, and see how they do. So here they are, live on Ronald Tech. Let's talk uh, price and specs. Uh, you can get these now uh, for $179.99. Um, I bought these from Best Buy. You can also get them from Amazon at that same price. However, if you go onto the Apple site, they are at the original price of $349.99 or $350. Uh, they come in four different colors. You got black, you got the deep brown, you got navy, which is what we have here, and you have sandstone. As far as Bluetooth version, these guys rock Bluetooth 5.3 with codec support for AAC and SBC. Of course, they've got that active noise canceling system in a with transparency mode. As far as battery, you can get up to 40 hours of playback time with their also their fast fuel, AKA quick charge. 10 minutes will get you an additional four hours of playback time. As far as special features, you are you have a comfortable design, 40 millimeter drivers in each cup. You can use these both wired and wireless. Okay, uh, with wired, you can you. Uh, uh, using the USB-C cable, you can you get uh, use uh, lossless audio with that. Uh, of course, you have uh, spatial audio with head tracking, um, and that's more geared towards the uh, uh, if you're using these with like in the Apple ecosystem. Um, and you also have other enhanced uh, Apple comp compatibility uh, features. You got one touch pairing. Hey Siri, find my. In case you lose them, they'll give you. The last known last known location of them, if they say, for instance, they've been turned off. Uh, you got over the air updates as well, and they also have advanced or enhanced uh, Android compatibility, such as Google Fast Pair. You have audio switching, which we will definitely test. Find my device, and you also have the Beats app uh, for these guys on for Android. So let's go ahead and get into these. I ripped that a little bit. I had a sticker on there. So we're going to go ahead and just finish this off. All right. It always has such cool wrapping. All right, let's go ahead and get in here. See what we got. I like the box. I like the packaging. All right, right now we have a soft case. Uh, got a handle here. Uh, the zipper is covered, is protected, but it doesn't give you uh, a lot of protection. I thought this would be a hard shell case. I know previous versions had the hard shell case with these, with their headphones. Uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, find me uh, uh, one. Maybe I could swap that out for these. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we got. All right, we got our books and documentation and everything. What else is in here? Yeah, it looks like just documentation. We got some beat stickers. All right. You know, and some stuff to, you know, you got your pairing, scan, you got all your stuff there, your information and everything. You scan that to get your uh, product guide and all that stuff. So that's what we have there. Let's get that out the way. Let's go ahead and crack this open. See what we got? All right, we got the headphones here. Uh, if I can get these out, they're in pretty snug. All right, they're supposed to come out collapsed like this. Now, these are over ear headphones, so this will be collapsed like that. We'll take a look at them in a minute. So you can see inside here, you got, night, you got pockets. Here, you got your USB C to USB C cable. Okay, and then you also have your 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter headphone cable. So you got both of them in. That's what's in the case. 
We're going to put those back. I like the way they have this set up though, even though I wish it was a hard case. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the headphones. All right, nice, kind of soft. Uh, I like the softness of the cushions. Very nice. Okay, got the ratchet arms here. All right, they Swivel just a little bit. Do the stretch here. Okay, nice. Got a little padding here on the uh, headband. I wish it was a little more there. And one thing I do like is the fact that they got rid of the branding other than the B. Uh, I know you, some of them, like the previous versions my I've, that I've seen, uh, they had like the branding up here telling you what kind it is and stuff like that. They got rid of that. All right. Then, of course, you got your physical buttons here on the left ear cup. Yep. So you got your play pause here. Your volume up, volume down. All right. Very nice there. Let me see this, the other side click. Nope. Nothing on the right. So everything's on the left hand side, but you do have your power button. Here on the right, and on the left here, but left uh, cup, you got your US, well, excuse me, your your uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack there, or port there for your cable. And on the right, you have your USB Type C port for charging and audio. So, very, I, I kind of like it. Again, this is my first actual, on oh, I first pair of Beats headphones I've actually purchased. So let me go ahead and pop these on and see how they look I'm wearing them. Okay. It definitely covers my whole ear, my whole, both of my ears. Very light feeling. This is what it looks like in the air, on the hair rather. Covers the entire ear. Very comfortable. And it has nice uh, little clamping force on it. So... It does uh, do away with, does give you some really good noise isolation. Again, I like the, I, very comfortable As, so far. Like I said, I only had them on for a couple minutes, but again, very, very comfortable. All right. So let's go ahead, get these guys paired up and see what they got. Stay strapped in. All right. Let's go ahead and get these guys paired up. First up, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get these guys paired to the to my Android phone here. We're just going to see if we got some power. We're going to see that quick that Google Fast Pair works. All right, here we go. Let's see if we got some juice in here. All right, we got full battery. And boom, just like that, Google Fast Pair works. So we're going to go ahead and connect. And we're going to see what's going on. Huh. Let's see what happened. For some reason, it got turned off. So we got to go back in and pair it that way. I don't know what happened with Google Fast Pair, but you did see it launch. Now it's going to, now it wants to save it. All right, yes, save, please. <laughs> All right, so it was go through the setup. Let's go ahead and play around. We'll go into the setup. We're going into the app. And we're going to allow a couple things. Press once to end calls. All right, and we're in. So now we got it all set up. We're in the app. You know what? We'll, we'll, We'll come. No, let's you know. Let's do this right now. Let's go ahead and take a look real quick. See what's going on. All right, you got the name of the he the headphones here. You got the. Whoops, let me back up. I don't know why I did that? All right, you got the name of the head the headphones. You got the picture of them. Battery level up underneath there. It tells you that it's connected. Then you got your uh your your noise canceling. 
you got off and then you have transparency mode so you just cycle through them then of course you can go in you can rename them i will be doing that uh you got your product you know your product features you can explore that and of course you got your where you cycle through your trend your noise controls uh that's just taking it right off of my um the way i have it set up with my uh my <laughs> But Beats uh, Pro Plus, the uh, the head, the earbuds, and then of course you got your call controls, and then of course you can optimize uh, the product here to allow the app to mute and unmute if if supported. Like I say, for instance, for like firmware updates and things of that nature, and of course it gives you more information under the hood, and then you can also register here at the bottom. Uh, pretty straightforward on here. So just wanted to run through that real fast. So what we're going to do now is, is we're going to go ahead. We will grab the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And we're going to see the uh, connection option there. All right, back in. We got the uh, uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max on. Let's go ahead. We're going to put these guys back into pairing mode. We're going to see how fast these guys pick up. All right, let's go ahead. All right, we turn them off. Turn it back on. We're going to hold. All right, let's go ahead and make sure these guys aren't connected to this phone. Yep, they are. We're going to disconnect it. All right, now we got in pairing mode. And just like that, it picks them up right on the iPhone. So we'll go ahead and hit connect. I like it. I, I do like that. I got to give them credit. I do like the way they display it. Rotating like that looks very cool. All right, you got media controls. And let's see. And we can go ahead and skip that. You got your spatial audio again. Strictly for when you're using the and using the iPhone or any Apple device such as tablets, computers. We do not now. Then of course, tells you Ron's Beat Studio Pro, just like it's named here on my on my Android. So we hit continue, and we'll worry about that later. All right. So just like the my Galaxy phone has a, the Beats app iPhone does not come with the Beats app, but you don't really need it. If you scroll, just bring down your window, your, uh, you can see that it has a connected here. If you tap on it, or long press rather, you can go ahead and at the bottom here, you can cycle between your noise canceling and transparency here. And then of course you got your spatial audio feature. Okay, I guess you only have to be playing something in order for spatial audio to be working. So we're not playing anything right now. So that's the reason why that's not working right. That's not turned on. But like you said, like I said, rather than like you said, like <laughs> like I said, with the with any Apple phone, uh, uh, I think going going all the way back, uh, you don't need uh, an app for these earbud headphones. But however, there is no uh multi-point connectivity when using uh your apple phones and everything they do not offer that with these headphones so pairing works on both devices let's continue all right what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and test the uh audio switching feature first we're going to make sure uh we got them paired the uh, headphones paired to both devices so we're going to go ahead and do that right now Let's get these guys in pairing mode again. I want to make sure they're paired to the to my uh <laughs> to my tablet. I can't even get the words out. All right, let's go and get it connected. All right, we're going to you know, hit done. So we're going to be done with that for now. And now let's see. We got just want to pull it down. It shows that it is paired to my to my tablet. 
So now let's go over to my phone. And let's go ahead and hit connect. All right. And it is connected to my phone as well. So multipoint does work here on Android. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull up some art, some video. And we're going to run the content. Get this queued up. Pause that. This queued up. Pause that. All right, let's go ahead and put these on. Make sure I got them on the right ears. All right. <laughs> Make sure I ain't have them backwards. All right, here we go. We got them on. Now we're going to play some audio from this, from my phone first. So let's go. All right. I got audio playing out of there. Okay. Now let's go to the tablet. And I got audio playing out of the tablet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to test that audio switching feature where if I hit play on the phone, it should pause the audio here on the uh, tablet and vice versa. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have it set up? Let me check because I might have to, I might not have it set up on the phone. Let me see. Let's go to details. Huh. Yeah, auto switching is turned on. Let's make sure it's turned on here. On the tablet. Audio switch is turned on. So let's see what the problem is here. All right, let's try it again. It won't, it's stopping. All right, for some reason, it's not working. Let's try it here. Huh, interesting. Now I'll try to do the audio switching here live on camera and you guys can see that there is an issue. Now it should, if I hit play here, it should pause this audio, but apparently it's not doing it. So you gotta pause. And hit play. So actual audio switching is not working. So uh so what you wanna so basically you do have to pause it and then go to your second device in order to listen to it instead of just hitting play on that device and then it automatically pausing the first one. So you saw it live here, uh, the true audio switching, which I'm used to like in the, with the, uh, the Sony XM5s, uh, I think um, uh, the Bose QuietComfort Ultras headphones also allow you to uh, audio switch with no problem. Um, but, the, I think that's what I'm thinking, but you still can use them, uh, you know, be tied into two devices at once through Android. Again, audio switching, not a, de not a deal breaker for me, but I would like to have that be a little bit more flawless, uh, like a one put a one button, oh, a one step option there. So I'm done rambling about it. Let's continue the testing. All right, what we're going to do now is the uh, touch control test. Uh, the headphones do not have a uh, wear sensor, so we don't have to worry about that, worry about, you know, the music pausing while we play. So we're going to go ahead and get some music started. Let me turn this down a little bit. Don't want a copyright strike. <laughs> All right, that should be good. All right, we'll go ahead and hit play. On... All right, we got audio playing out of the headphones. So... The center option, the B, is where you can press it once. You can pause, press it twice, or press it once again, it'll play again. 
Now, if you double press, it will take you to the next track. You move over. If you triple press, it'll take you to the previous track. And of course, you got your volume up. If you hit to you know the top of the ring, increases your volume. You hit the bottom part of the ring, lowers your volume. All right, and then of course, on the right ear cup. The power button, if you double click that twice, it will take you into noise canceling and then back into transparency mode that way. Uh, or however you have it set up in the app, if you even want to turn off the uh, the uh, noise can noise controls, you can set you can configure that as well. But just wanted to run through and show you guys all the touch controls here. They all work flawlessly. Pause that. Let's continue. This is a mic test with the Beats Studio Pro headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Beats Studio Pro headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Beats Studio Pro headphones in a quiet location. This is a mic test with the Beats Studio Pro headphones in a quiet location. All right, we are out in my backyard. We're going to do an ANC test for these Beats Studio Pro headphones. Right now, I'm in transparency mode and. It is remarkable. It feels like I can't hear, I, like I don't even have them on. The, it's very clean, very clear uh, sound. Let me paint the picture for you real quick. We got traffic from the Turnpike Bridge right over here. We got traffic from the street right behind us. We got central air units that will be firing off and on. Uh, birds chirping. We got a really good test bed here. So what we want to do now is We'll go ahead and put these guys in noise canceling mode. Let me find my button. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, and just like that, all the, the ambient sound has stopped. It sound, I could, literally, I cannot hear anything. The noise canceling is fantastic on these guys. I mean, to make sure I'm just listening around. I did hear a horn just a little bit to behind me, but it was real faint. But other than that, really great sound. My central air unit just fired off. I heard it kick on, but after that, it's a real, real minimum sound. So it doesn't completely block out all sound, but it does do a great job at knocking out most of it. So if I have to grade these on a scale from one to 10, one being absolute trash, two being the best ever, I would give these guys right about a seven and a half, 7.45. You know what? Let's do it like this. We will give them an eight. We will give them an eight on that scale. They do a really good job as far as the noise canceling, and I'm very impressed with them. So this has been the ANC test for the Beat Studio Buzz Pro. Very, very good. All right, we're back in for the sound test. I'm um, using a new artist. Shout out to my man Aaron for recommending it to me for these tests. I like to do, I have like fresh new uh, artists, gives new, um, with you know, as far as vocals and everything like that. Uh, keeps it fresh and gives you uh, better, different ranges of voices and stuff like that to test with. It's a lot of fun. Again, huge shout out to my man Aaron for introducing me uh, or turning me on to this Dominique Fells aim, Amy. I think I was pronouncing it right. I might be screwing it up. There's a good chance of that. But anyway, shouts out to him. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make sure we are in our optimal listening level. All right, and we're going to turn on noise canceling. All right, noise canceling has been turned on. And here we go. Let me back this up. We're going to start from the beginning. Okay, Vo right now the vocals are sounding nice and clear. Oh, you got a, a nice wide sound stage. All right, now we got got a nice little thump. It's a little little beat, little beat going on. Sounds really good. Now we got a guitar. Again, things are. Oh, it's either a, it's like a bass guitar or a, a cello, but either way, 
they it sounds very clean, very clear, vocal sound very crisp. Okay. I now and now again, it's like instruments are add, being added on as the song goes on. It's very, very interesting, but very clean and clear. You got a nice thump with the uh with the drums. I'm really enjoying this. This is a nice, nice, clear, clean sound. All right. Again, very, very clean, very detailed as well. You could, you know, as you know, it starts off with a, the lead vocalist and then the background vocalist. And then, you know, sounds are started are being added on as the song goes on and different instruments. It, it, it's, it's a really good, uh, Really good song. I'm I'm liking it. It's definitely going to be a test uh, a test song uh, moving forward because that is a lot of fun. All right, let's go ahead and uh, jump into our bass test again. Very clean vocals on that first song. Nice thump with the uh, the drums in the background. The you know you got the rumble from the cello. It was a really good sound. All right, let's let's go into our bass test. Here we go. Okay. Already nice. Give me all the levels of bass, all different types of bass. Here's a low end. Oh, nice rumble. Let's max out. Oh man, this sounds clean. Oh yeah, very clean. Oh yeah. Very clean sounding. I can't stay there too long. But again, I like the uh, how crisp the uh, shimmering sounds. Very nice, very crisp sounding. Oh, so clean. And here goes low end again. Oh, hit me again. I love how clean the, the bass drop is on these. Very nice, very clean, hits hard, it, and you get that little reverb in there. You got that rumble. It sounds great. All right, let's go ahead and get into our final song. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Nice, kind of a warm start, but still good. Got the nice uh, thump from the drums. You got the keyboard there. Now the lead saxophone comes in. Real crisp. I like it. Very nice. Had to take a sip. Sorry. But I love. I like the way the uh, lead saxophone sounds. All right. Now here comes a high note. Very nice. Now let's get to the background instruments. All right, sound stage is nice and wide. Very clean. I don't like the detail. These sound really good. They sound really good. A little warm, but still really good sounding. All right, not uh, all right. I'm really enjoying these. All right, let's go. I'm gonna grab the uh, USB Type C cable. We will see how lossless audio. So I don't even know if it can do it on this phone per se, but we're gonna give it a shot real quick. Let's try it. All right, we got the USB Type C cable plugged in. As soon as I plug it in, it automatically turned off the headphones. So we're just doing pass through audio here. I want to test this out. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into. We'll go to a song with some vocals. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go into our old. Let me see where's she at. There she is. We'll go to here. All right. Again, we don't have. Okay. Does sound clean and clear. 
But again, I like how nice it sounds. It's nice. Uh, the mids and highs are definitely uh, turned up a little bit. Very, very crisp. Okay. Very nice. Okay, you don't have as much bass. Let's go ahead and see. Let's try E40 real quick. I just want to do this real fast. I just want to see uh, what the uh, USB-C, USB Type-C leg cable plugged in. Will we uh, have bass? Yeah, you got good. You got bass. It's decent. Again, you, you got to be turned all the way up in order to enjoy it. Because if you turn it down... I mean, you get a good punch, but it's not as bright a sound. All right, so that works. Let's go out and grab uh, some video here. Let's 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 see. Let's let's go grab a movie real quick. I think I got one up in here somewhere. Uh, where is my media player at? Here we go. Let's grab a movie. See what's going on. Got all this music in here. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's let's go ahead and grab something out of. Let's go grab some Iron Man real quick. Let's move up. Let's back up. All right, I'm trying to get to some scenes where they're talking. Well, we can see lips moving. All right, we got Iron Man starting out. Uh, all right, got a nice rumble when they gave you that, like when the trucks are rolling. Very nice. Oh yeah. I like the way it sounds so far. Even the rattling from the ice in the drink. That's that's pretty cool. Everything seems to be in sync. All right, here we go. Yep. Sync very nicely with the cable. And you can still hear the ice rattling in the drink. Very nice. It's very clean. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to take off the USB Type-C cable. And we're going to see. All right, we turned them back on. All right, we're paired back up. Wired with, uh, with Bluetooth. As you can see, make sure we are paired up. All right, Beat Studio Pro is connected. Now let's go back in real quick and check out the lips. Uh, check out the uh, lip sync. Here we go. All right, let me turn this down a little bit. All right, lip sync is perfect. There is no lag, no latency between what the audio from the lips moving to the audio I'm hearing. Spot on. Let's continue. All right, real quick. Uh, two reasons why I did not use the uh, iPhone 13 Pro Max in testing. I know a lot of people going to be in the comments section saying you have an iPhone. Why aren't you testing with the iPhone? Number one, this is not my daily driver, so I. Only want to use. I only want to do the testing mainly with the device that I use on a daily basis. Number two, I do not. These are the 13 Pro Max, so it has the lightning lightning port. So I do not have a lightning port adapter as of right now. So being able to convert these over and just use it with the uh, cable was was not um, available. Was not possible at this point in time. Uh, like I said, I just grabbed. I got these on a whim. And I didn't think I actually I didn't think ahead to needing uh, an adapter for this phone, so that's the reason why these guys did not 
Uh, I did not. Those are the two reasons why I did not put these guys into the sound test. Uh, as far as you know, with spatial audio and everything like that, we all know that's um, specific to the, the Apple ecosystem. So, um, yeah, I, I just I just didn't go ahead. I didn't go through with it with that. But those are the two reasons why I didn't uh, use the iPhone in this testing. Let's continue. All right, let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes for the Studio Beat Studio Pro headphones. Let's start with my dislikes. I do not like the fact that these guys, the cups don't swivel. All right. I like the one way if you sit them, you can sw you know, swivel them, lay them down flat. Um, and that, of course, you know, I, I like, I always did like that. That way they're not sitting up. I just think it's a better, uh, better way to store. Um, let me see what else I don't like. I don't like the fact that uh, these guys, the audio switching, on these guys uh, don't work like I thought it would be, like it does for the uh, Beat Studio Buds Plus, uh, where you can just flip to the next screen, next device, and it will pause the previous one. I thought these guys would have that uh, that will have that feature in it. They maybe maybe with an update, uh, they would have it. Will uh, you know? Hopefully they'll do that. I know these guys have been out for almost a year now. Um, and I have not seen any updates on it at all, but still, I wish they did. All right, and then, of course, let me see. What else do I not like? Uh, the case. I know a lot of people rave about this case. I don't. I like uh, a hard shell case. Um, I feel a little bit better um, throwing it in a bag in a hard shell case so I ain't got to worry about possibly my my headphones getting crushed. Because look at that. It could definitely squeeze in. If something just happens to fall on it the right way, it could do some damage to your your earbuds, your headphones on the inside and everything. It's a nice looking case, but I just wish it was a hard shell one, in my opinion. Okay. And let me see. What else do I not like about these headphones? Um, I can't think of anything as of right now. Uh, other than those dislikes that I listed, um, oh, a better app. I know they got the Beats uh, Beats app. I know they made Streamline for Android users like myself, but I wish they would include an equalizer within that app uh, for these headphones. And they, um, I'm just going to speak on these headphones because they could go. Uh, I could say the same thing for the uh, Beat Studio, the Studio Buds Plus, as well as the beats fit pros uh i just wish they all use the same app so i wish that they put an equal a graphic equalizer in there so you can really fine tune these i think these guys would definitely be uh definitely be one of the best out if you could do that all right so let's go ahead and flip over and talk about our my likes i like the colorway this navy i really dig it now that i see it i have it in my hand i'm really really liking it even more i like the the fit and feel of these I like, they're very light when you have them on uh doesn't seem to uh, cause you know any type of hair fatigue nice clamping for us but you still got soft pillowy soft uh air cushion on the you know for the on the on the cans here uh, i wish you know the band has nice soft there i wish it had a little bit more cushion here on the band headband but it's still very comfortable for you know, long listening sessions. Um, I love how the uh, button controls, how intuitive they are, very responsive and everything. Uh, and even the, the power button when you double tap to go into noise canceling or out into transparency mode, very nice. Uh, despite the fact that they do not swivel, I like the fact that you can break these down, fold them down, make them a little more compact, easy to travel uh, with. I do like that. Um, Let's see. I love the sound is great. I love how these sound, although I do wish, you know, I've mentioned that before about needing wishing the equalizer was in the app, but the sound is great out of these, uh, good bass and everything. Nice rumble. I love, I just, I'm really loving that. And again, this is my first pair of beats headphones that I've ever owned. So I'm very impressed with it right now. Uh, also the noise canceling is definitely 
one of the best uh, out there as far as headphones go. It gets very, very, you know, they, they definitely knock out a lot of sound. Very, you know, a very nice uh, addition here. All right, so I think that covers all my likes and dislikes. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's wrap this up. So this has been an unboxing and review of the Beat Studio Pro headphones. Uh, right now, you can get these guys on sale. Uh, and I, you know, if you're into, if you're interested in these, you've been thinking about them. Now's the time to pull the trigger on them. They had a great price right now. Uh, I wouldn't. And when they first came out, there was no way I was gonna pay three fifty uh, for these headphones. Now, right now at one seventy nine, these are uh, these are a great great buy. So uh, if you want, I would I would definitely ask you to check these out. These are definitely something to look at if you're interested in, or if you're in the market for new headphones, all right? And this has been a lot of fun. Uh, I actually enjoy doing this this uh, review, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.